Hello and welcome. I'm Tim and this is Tim B at Sea. And hey, guess what? We're down in the Caribbean. That's right, no longer in New York. Well, just a little change of contract here and a little change of scenery. So if you want to see something different, maybe a side of the Caribbean you've never seen before, come on over every Tuesday and uh, see us, see what we do down here. It's a different type of the towing industry. It's actually towing on the wire. A lot of deep water towing, uh, crazy ports, all kinds of fun stuff. So come along and strap in and hope you enjoy the ride. So we are currently on the north shore of Puerto Rico. You see our bow is headed into the sun, the rising sun. This is probably about 5.30 in the morning. And uh, so that means we're eastbound, eastbound. And we are preparing to go into Arecibo. Part of the procedures in Arecibo being that it's a very difficult port. So we pick up two pilots. But one has to get on the... Uh, tugboat and the other will get on the barge. Right now the both pilots are on this tugboat here. This is going to be our assist boat. And we've come we're kind of in the lee of the island now. The weather, the swells are really coming from the southeast, yeah, no, so the Maybe island is breaking them up some, but there's still a big swell on there, and that's why we have a lot of wire out. So I think the uh, because of the swells, and like I say, it, it looks flat calm, but it's kind of deceiving. You'll see when they get up in here that uh, the, the assist boat uh, has his hands full because there is that underlying Caribbean swell that we just can't seem to get away from. Now you might see the barge is off at an angle and that's indicative of, of us slowing down. As we slow down, um, it doesn't have as much pulling it forward so it kind of digs in one way and then comes tight and then digs in the other way. And sometimes we call that walking the dog, wagging the tail rather. I probably should have uh, finished my coffee before I started this. <laughs> right. Right. Anyway, the assist tug is coming up, making an approach. He's got his ABs out on deck and the pilot back further back. And, uh, the two pilots that we work with, I've said this in other videos before, but they're top shelf guys. Really, really good guys. Really good at their job. And uh, we have what we call recency into all the uh, ports that we're going to but this is a tricky one and because of that there's certain things that we do we only go during when the weather is is not as violent as it normally is over there and being on uh, on the north shore it's violent a lot <laughs> very more times than it's not and uh, anyway so they uh, so uh, yeah we only go in there in certain times and when we do Caesar, can you come up here? we uh, take the pilots with us just to, so we have every bit of help we can get. Now as precarious right. as this may look, uh, <laughs> our pilot has uh, okay, done this so a million times and uh, he's very comfortable uh, doing that. As uh, the master of this rig, I, uh, it makes me <laughs> incredibly nervous for him jumping back and forth. But he assures me that everything's fine and that he's done it and he's uh, a superman. So hopefully his luck will hold. All right. I'm talking over here, so let me shut up and you guys can hear what I'm saying. Now the plan, for those of you that have seen this before, is that uh, Luke does the driving and I run things back here. So he's going to steer right up to the point to the where we turn and flop on the barge right off the dock.
for those wondering, um, this is a look aft at our doghouse, we call it. And on the left-hand side, you can see the throttles there. And uh, then the uh, NFU, the black little uh, ball at the end of the uh, joystick there, that's for steering. Ahead of that is the rudder angle indicator. And then the first control the here on the right-hand side uh, runs the winch the wires the on, crew, and the uh, other one on the further right-hand side, it runs the winch on the, the suitcase drum side.
pull so that we start getting the bow of the barge over this way. Remember, we're trying to bleed off speed all the time. Three hundred fifty feet back. I 
That means we'll probably go ahead 350 feet. So he's going to be calling me any minute now. Tim, you might want to come alongside now. Now we got a little bit of headway. Yeah, that works for me. Uh, just make sure that uh, if he's going straight there, he doesn't stop the headway. You ready for me, uh, Luke? Yep, Tim, you got it. Okay, I'm taking the taking everything from you. All right, here we go. Now, I want to turn, but I also want to get out of the way. So I want to keep hauling in on the wire, but I want to turn and uh, make sure that... The pilot is saying just what I want him to, so I'm really happy about that. I, I don't mind them pulling on it, but the problem is if they stop me, then I have nothing. I, I like the barge to come by me. In fact, I'm going all stop right now. One point six on headway. One point three. Very good. All right, so everything's looking good right now. I'm sliding over. And uh, we're sucking in wire all the time. Nothing's out of control. We're shortening the distance. 1.1. Okay, I have to stop with my wire now because I need to get further ahead. Yeah. Or I'll catch, uh, catch uh, the shackle on, a, on one of our little stoppers over here. So I'm gonna bend the bow in a little bit. Keep coming ahead. stop things here for a second what's going on here is this is a barge that we have recently inherited our barge that we normally work with has been called off for a, another job and so uh we have this one and the cleats are in the wrong place and unfortunately we're too far aft on the barge and what that means for us is that when i haul in on the wire the wire the the socket will go up against the winch and so that's no good I mean, it's all right. It's just that, that I won't be able to tighten it up, so I'll have to use a stern line for that. Now I'm pinching the bow in so they can shorten up that line. So the 
line's going up now. Hold on, my rally, get my head up top, too. Yeah, very good. Manda alguien mejor, pero si yo va a tratar de Alright. 